Hi everyone, it's Vicky. I want to talk to you about paint by numbers today. So I've really enjoyed doing paint by numbers for the last couple of months. I have done them for a few years, but I would say over the last six months, I've really got hold of some really nice paint by numbers that are nice to use. So I wanted to just show you what I do and some hints and tips. So first thing I do is I buy these ones here. Um, you get them on Amazon. They don't come in a box. This is how they arrive. There's a canvas, there's a picture, and there's your paint. And it's in a little bag. And I typically pick them up for about four pounds. I don't pay more than six pounds for a picture. Um, they are on sale often, so you just pick them up when they're a good price. Um, when you buy it like this, this is folded. This is a canvas and it's folded. What I do with mine is I buy these ready-made canvases. That's weird. <laughs> I buy these ready-made canvases. They're really stretched. I buy them at the works and they are three, four, ten pounds, I think. Um, I'll have to double check, but I think they're three for ten pounds. I buy them at the works. They come like this. They come with those other things as well. Those are little wooden things that I never use. So what I do is I use my Mod Podge. I pour this over and today I just scraped it with a, a piece of card. I scraped it all over and um, made it all nice and smooth. You can also use a paintbrush. Then I put my canvas on top of that. I smoothed it out with my hand. When I turned it over, I used a staple gun and I stapled all the way around the edges. So I'm going to show you what that one looks like now. So this is the one that I did a few minutes ago. I'll just move that out of the way. And you can see there, there is a line there, because I didn't iron this one, but you can't see that line that smoothed itself out. And then on the back, I have used my staple gun and I've just stapled it all the way around the edges. I've done quite nice tight corners this time, which I was happy about. Hope you can see it all. Okay, so there is my picture. Um, one of the things that I like about these ones that I've been picking up on Amazon, they come from China, is that the numbers are all the same size and the size of the blocks is quite large. There are a few really skinny ones in there, um, but for the most part they're quite large blocks so they're easy to fill in with paint. I'm going to show you what this picture looks like. crunchy noise. So this is the picture. It's Central Park. And you can see the buildings in the background. It looks like maybe it's late at night. Um, it's got an orangey haze around the bridge. There's some water there. It comes with all the paints. Um, this one has got quite a lot of paint. Sometimes you only get three, three of these little lines of paint but this time I've got four. It comes with some attachments that you can attach it to the wall. So you screw this into your your board or your um, the wood and then you can attach it to the wall. I don't even use those and sometimes these paint brushes are good and sometimes they're bad but because of the price I've paid for this I'm not overly stressed about the paintbrushes. I have other paintbrushes if these don't work. I don't tend to use the big one, I only use the small ones and the small ones are usually the same size. I will keep this for reference, there is no other reference for this. So this is what you've got to work on. Sometimes you get a little magnifying glass. I've got one of those and sometimes I use that and it's just a little piece of plastic. Um, but for this one, I think I could use it without the magnifying glass and probably without my glasses. The paints are already mixed, so you're not going to mix them again. And sometimes they give you duplicate numbers. So if, if you've got like a big piece of 
one color then they might give you two paint pots with the same numbers so that you can have enough paint to finish your painting so there's that I recently um, gave up on a painting and it's it was very very complicated the the painting that you had to fill in the black lines were very pixelated it almost looked like it had just been blown up on a, on a computer um, the numbers were very small the blocks were very small and there was way too many paint colors for me to deal with and it's been sitting here for about two months and today I just decided I'm not going to carry on with it anymore. I've passed it on to a family member who will hopefully enjoy it more than I do. But this one you can see the, the shapes that you've got to fill in, the lines are nice and smooth. It's like someone's taken a pen and actually drawn this so it just feels, for me, this feels like an easier painting to do. Another thing that um, nobody mentions is your water. Now I saw a tip somewhere and they talked about putting a drop of dish soap in your water. So that's what I do. So if you can see a little bit of blue in there that is actually hand soap. And I've been doing that, putting a drop of soap in my water. That water thins down your paint really well with a little bit of soap. I don't know what it is but the soap in the water and then you, you, you dip your brush in, you swirl it around, you dab it on kitchen towel. I've got toilet paper. Make it a bit wet. If you need a bit of water in here, if it gets a bit thick because it is acrylic and it can dry out, you can just put a drop of that soapy water in and it thins out the paint and it goes on very smoothly. I don't know what it is, something about the soap makes it go on really smoothly. So there are some of my hints and tips for your paint by numbers when you start is drop of dish soap or um, hand soap in your water and then make sure your canvas is all stretched out nicely. I did do one where it wasn't stretched onto anything and I did find it harder to work with and it's harder to get those creases out even if you iron it. Um, when I have ironed these I iron it on the back. I don't iron it on the front because I didn't want to maybe melt or mark the front of the canvas. Um, so go and have a look at the ones um, on Amazon. There are other people who sell paint by numbers uh, but I would say just have a look at this piece before you purchase it. A lot of the sellers will show you what this looks like and if you see it's got lots of little squares and it looks like it's um, pixelated. I, I don't really know if that's the right word but if it looks like it's got lots of little squares it's going to be a lot harder to do and for me I didn't find that enjoyable but because this one now has all these nice smooth lines and curves I know I'm going to enjoy it a lot more. So thanks for watching and I hope you can find a good paint by numbers to start with. Bye!